traditionally with North Korea, there, there's method to the madness, right? You know, for lack of a better expression here. But, listen, this is a positive development, no question. Three Americans uh, released in the span of a couple of weeks. But, you know, through, through decades of this, that normally means that North Korea wants something. Uh, North Korea is under a lot of pressure now. One, uh, there's movement in the international court uh, in, in light of evidence uh, of the treatment of political prisoners there and other prisoners, uh, um, conditions in prisoner camps, etc. Uh, that kind of international condemnation uh, to the UN, International Criminal Court, is something that they want to avoid. Uh, plus, as well, uh, there are signs that North Korea wants to restart the nuclear talks. Now, that's good, no question, um, and, and that seemed to have been what. Uh, what they wanted to talk to James Clapper about when he went out there, at least to, although he and other, I've been told that he went there for the purpose of possibly listening, but not to negotiate on the nuclear talk, purely to get the Americans home. Uh, so, so they may want to go there. That said, U.S. officials have told me that we're not there yet, that, that the real change is going to be not symbolic releases of Americans, but change in behavior, uh, openness, uh, transparency on the nuclear program, et cetera. Um, and, and just thinking longer term, you know, the, the North Korean foreign policy, if you call it that, is, is, is traditionally in a cycle of provocation and reconciliation. You know, you, you, you launch the missile, missiles and then you back off and look for a reward, whether that's economic uh, concessions from China that, that supports them economically, et cetera, or a diplomatic mission to the U.S., restarting the talks, et cetera. And then off, too often you've seen those. Uh, periods of reconciliation and with further provocation. So I think we need some expectations management at this point in light of that history. Mm -hmm. But listen, when you talk to U.S. officials, they're not cutting off that possibility, but they're saying for real progress in the relationship, they have to see substantive change. Uh, you know, and as important as this is for the family, they, they need that substantive change uh, on their nuclear, nuclear program, et cetera. And I know, Jim, you, you qualified this with the reminder to people that what what Pyongyang does is so unexpected that we have to be careful because they, you know they could suddenly take another American in, 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 into detention. I mean, this is not a, a clear road ahead. No, no question. And, and you've had other Americans taken there and released. Lisa Ling's sister a few years ago. Uh, you've had this happen before. They're released, and people say, "Hey, this could be an opportunity." And then too soon after, you might have an artillery exchange with South Korea. You've had other provocative events, uh, particularly uh, alarming progress with their nuclear program. Uh, so you know, we shouldn't imagine that this won't happen again. Uh, it, it's mm -hmm. certainly not to close off uh, the possibility of positive progress, but, but you know, multiple administrations have, have reached out or been open to reaching out than, than before. So you have to factor that into your expectations at this point.